This right here will be the reason why your dog don't take. CB Kimmel family. Man, listen, good morning, man. This is yours truly, Tommy over here at CB Kimmel's, man. We dropping a lot of content for you guys, so please make sure you guys watch all the videos, man, because um, all the knowledge and everything that of what's going on and transpiring over at CB Kimmel's, I'm dropping my videos, so you don't have to DM me and ask any questions, because if you watch the videos, you will have all the answers to everything you want to know. So today's video, I'm, I'm uh, you guys, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of different things going on in today's video. So in today's video, this is what's going to be in today's video. You guys, please watch the full video to the end. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, you guys, we want to roll to 100K. Listen, you guys. So today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to make puppy mush for three-week-old puppies. Yes, I do wean all my pups off the mom at three weeks. So I don't care if it's a Frenchie, a Pitbull, a Rock Roller. All of my puppies get weaned off mom at three weeks old. That's the first question a lot of people been DM me asking me. Three weeks old is when I wean all my puppies. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the puppy mush for three week old puppies. Also you guys, I'm gonna be doing a TCI on um, on Rosa Parks because you guys know um, earlier, in the, well, you guys gonna see, I took her to get a PG test and uh, her numbers are right. So I'm gonna be doing a TCI on her. Also you guys, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing. Also you guys, Mama Cat. As you guys look over there and see, Mama Cat is not there no longer. You guys, Mama Cat will be coming to heat. I had to put, my, so not in heat, I'm sorry, you guys. So Mama Cat is about to be, she's actually in, in active labor now, right? Not active labor, but she's coming to labor. So I had to put Mama Cat somewhere where she can be comfortable with a fan and be calm with no dogs around her so that she can make it to tomorrow because I have a C-section scheduled for tomorrow. So um, I'm going to try to keep her as calm as possible um, before tomorrow. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to do anything emergency-wise, but as of right now, everything's looking good. She's just panting. So she will be coming in heat. I mean, we'll be going to labor pretty soon. Um, as you guys can see, I got these pups over here. And this right here, you guys. But also, you guys, um, so this is paper. So this is, this right here, people gonna be asking. This is regular paper, it's newspaper. I got a shredder. I shredded the paper, put it in there. There you go, these pups, they are now three weeks old, you guys. All pups are sold out. I don't have no puppies available. I have nothing available. Everything is sold out. All the Drake on Snow Puppies is sold out. Um, the French that you guys know I had available. He is sold. Everything is sold. I have nothing available as of right now. I do drop a litter tomorrow morning off Mama Cat and Juice. I'm going to drop the flyer there. You guys know on Juice side, Juice is a Don Juan sign. Um, Juice is a Don Juan sign. Juice is a bait grandson. Juice got local LV. Juice got Joker's Wild, Juice got Fat Boy, Juice got all that. He got a stack pedigree. So is Mama Cat. Mama Cat is a direct Busachi daughter. Off of Busachi himself. Um, she got a stack pedigree too. So those puppies are going, and you guys know Mama Cat is um Pretty Boy. R.I.P. Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy's mom. So Pretty Boy was a dope stud, man. Like, and um, I'm hoping to get some some nice ass pretty boys. You know what I'm saying? Some cleaner pretty boys. And the guys know my game plan is to keep a boy and a um, girl off Mama Cat. Also, you guys, as you guys can see last video, if you haven't watched last video, um, Sasha, my um, Busachi granddaughter, she went to Juice. She did take and confirm six type of pups. Also, you guys, like I told you guys, um, Rosa Parks, we started her breeding. So make sure y'all tune to the full bit. Don't skip through the video, man. Watch the full video to get all the knowledge so you don't have to DM me, ask me, hey, when are you wean the pups? Hey, how do you make the mush? Because I'm going to title this video accordingly so that... People that don't know, don't want to go back and watch the video. Y'all stop being lazy, man. Stop DMing me. Just go back and look at the video. But if you watch every video, you already know I won't have to ask questions. You get what I'm saying? Because when you ask me a question, I already answered the video. I'm just going to refer you to that video. That's it. Um, boom. So I just cleaned this out, you guys. I got the pups over there. But I might put them in here so it's easier. Um, so it's easier. I just cleaned this out. They have poop everything. They have poop everywhere this morning. Also, for the ones who don't know, the shows yesterday in Orlando, Florida, man, that went well, man. We won three trophies, man. We won three trophies. Ice Spice won first place. Look at Ice Spice. Ice Spice! 
Ice Spice won first place, best puppy. Um, Juice won first place, best uh, biggest head, best exotic. Um, also, uh, who else? Who else? Um, Juicy, Juicy won second. It's, 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 I'm gonna drop the video probably in a few days because I gotta drop the video. Mama cat puppy. It's gonna listen. It's gonna be. It's gonna be out there. I got a lot of content drop for you guys. Um, I got like three or four videos in the vault that they haven't even dropped yet. But um, Juicy won second place, best exotic overall. And you got to think about it, you guys. She went against all males, man. Juicy went against all. There wasn't not one female in that ring. She went against all males and won second place. That means she crushing a lot of males, man. For her to go against all males and win second place, that's a dub to me. Um, but like I told you guys, here so nothing is available. One last time, nothing is available. Everything is sold. They're all sold. He's sold. Um, puppies coming next, Mama Cat. Mama Cat and Juice. They're going to price range between all pups, exotic, anything that I produce, um, micros, Frenchies, whatever, besides these right here, of course. They're going to start at 5000 So if you're looking to, I'm going to just put this out there again. If you're looking to shop with me, all of my pups that I produce start at 5 k and go up. Nothing under 5 k So those pups are going to range 5 k through 9 k It just depends on... What pup, you know, what color, that just depends. So you have to, um, and all deposits for the mama cat juice pups are going to be 1K to lock in. Um, so let's go ahead and make this mush. Y'all follow me. Here. Four ingredients I'm going to be using to make the three week old puppy mush uni milk, dime, baby rice cereal, goat milk. Listen, you guys, I feel like all of these things are essential when it comes to making mush for pup because you have to make it for them. You have to make it sweet for them to actually want it because if you just let's just say you go uni milk and, and goat and, and goat milk, bro, it's not sweet enough for them to actually want it. So I'm gonna tell you the reason and the benefit of using all of the products that I use. Everybody do different things, but it's just what we do over here at City Comes. Uni milk probiotics, it's a milk replacer. So you know what I'm saying? We was feeding them um, off mom, whatever. So this is a milk replacer. Rice cereal is another probiotic. And it just makes it a little bit, um, to give it more of like, um, you know, things that they're going to need to get their weight up and be thick. Because everybody asks me, damn, how your puppies get so thick? That's how they get thick right here. Don't confuse, don't get confused, you guys. Don't think I'm saying these products will make your puppies and your dogs big because it's a natural thing. You just have to get it out of them. So, um, dime is like, it's like. Candy syrup for dogs for puppies to make them want to eat it because if you don't use dime, tell you it's gonna be a lot harder to wean them off mama if you don't have dime. This is a key ingredient, man. If you don't have this, it's gonna be telling you, bro. I already know it's gonna be. I done whooped over 20, 30 puppies. It's gonna be uh, 20, 30. I'm sorry, I done whooped over 20, 30 litters. So it's gonna be very hard to get them to eat this without the syrup on top to make it sweet. And goat milk, just like goat milk, because it's better. So I already got my dog food. This is this uh, puppy food right here. I got it in there. Go ahead and um, put a little bit of rice cereal in there. And this, the, and you guys, everybody do it differently, but this is what works for me. Everybody do it differently, but this works for me. This is what I do, and this is what works for me. Put that in there. Put another one of those in there. Bam, bam. Yes, sir. Put us some uh, goat milk in there. You gotta make it real soupy for them. So this is their first time eating mush. You gotta make it real soupy for them. You gotta make it real soupy for them so they actually, you know what I'm saying? So it's really soft enough for them to be able to want to eat it. And I'm gonna let y'all know, I know it's gonna be hard. It's hard to well, it's hard to wean puppies, trust me. I know a lot of people don't do it as early as three weeks because it's hard, man. It's hard to get them to eat. But bro, you gotta make them eat, bro. Some people Hey man, I'll eat the six weeks, seven weeks, man. Hell no, man. The mama should not have to go through that for that long, man. Go ahead and learn how to wean them puppies off, man. Get them puppies off the mama. Yes, 
So when you make it, you guys, if it's not soupy enough, like that's perfect. That's perfect. If it's not soupy enough, all you gotta do is just add a little, add a little extra milk into it and just stir it up. Just that simple. All right, you guys, let me find my, actually, hold on, let that be good. I clean it up in a few. Y'all follow me. Yes, yeah, sir, you guys. Let me add a, stop, boy, stop, girl. Let me close this, because she's going to be trying to get in there. I spice. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> I spice, yes, sir. Hold on, you guys. Give me a second. Let me um get my spoon. Hey, what a spoon. Hey. Okay. Roll me, baby. Give me that ice spice. Give me that ice spice. Ice spice. Ice spice. Ice spice. Get out of it. Get out of it. Move. I added a little bit more milk to it to make it a little bit softer. That's a perfect consistency. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, you guys, so let's get it done, son. Put this down there to make it a little bit easier when it comes time to clean. Boom. I top it all off, you guys. Done. I done said this many times. Dine is not good for older dogs. Dine is only used to wean puppies off of mom. That's the only time it's good to use Dine. You try to give a puppy her age or they age Dine, which he is all about to be four months old. She is three months old. She's two and a half months old. If you give them Dine, bro, it's just going to give them the runs, bro. It's going to make them shit. It's like extra calories for no reason. It's going to give them the runs. They're going to be, the poop going to be very watery. It's only to make puppies wean off mom. That's all it's good for. So I normally do it around the edge because they're going to be around the edge. So that's normally how I do it. All right. Let's do it, you guys. Drake on snow that is sold out. Yes, all puppies sold out. I like to put each and every individual puppy in there. Just get a spoon and just make sure they taste it, man. Cause that's what's gonna make them want when they taste it. Gotta let them taste it, man. That's the only they gonna get in there if they taste it. So this is what I do at first, you guys. I put every individual pup in there and I give them a taste of it. Put a spoon in their mouth just so they can get a taste for it. Y'all see how they liking it? See how they liking it? And I do this with 
every come on man watch out i do this with every pup every individual pup kind of like feeling to him like a baby see what i'm saying kind of like feeling to him like a baby They want to get away until they taste that mush. They want to get away until they taste that mush. Oh, this shit is good. Hold up now. Wait, hold up now, man. Where the fuck that is? That better than mama milk. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, sir. Oh, I know it's good. I know it's good. I know right now, it's right now. Go ahead and get some up, boy. All right, you guys. Oh, I didn't even have to put him in. He jumped in there. All right, let me try to make it a little bit more waterier. But that actually is pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. God damn it, y'all. Come on. That's perfect. That is actually perfect. Put some more down in there. Y'all yeah, come on. Y'all come on. Y'all come on, man. You guys, you got to put them in there. Let, let, listen, don't be scared to put their paws in there because you want them to stay clean. Get them in there. Put their paws in there. Let them get in there so they can start eating it. Let them get in there. Let them get in there. All right, you guys. So that's how I make my mush for three-week-old puppies. And I wean them off at three weeks old, you guys. Um, so the next part of the video... Um, I catch y'all when we get in the doghouse. I catch y'all when we get in the doghouse with Rosa Parks. We gotta get back on the road. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. <laughs> we on the road, man. See me killing like always. Who we got? Who we got here? That girl, Rosie Parks. Rosa Parks is going to get our first PG. Um, it's been like, I think it's like four or five days since she's been bleeding. Go get this PG, you guys know she getting bread to Juicy Boy Juice. And you guys know this is a juice niece, man. This is a line breeding. I'm about to create something special. I wish y'all could see this girl in person. I was take her to the show, but like she can eat. So you know what I'm saying? I can't do that. But this girl is amazing, man. Taking her to get this PG. Um, we're gonna keep everything steady, you guys. Keep everything cope and steady. Nah, they breeding that we dropping these littles back to back. Quality dogs. So we dropping these quality littles. They ain't just dropping anything. See that girl, y'all. But I catch y'all little when we get to uh, my man's do PG. He said cough drop, he just knew it was her. They're all so consistent. It's crazy, bro. This girl right here, I'm gonna be honest with you. We, we, we did our thing with this breed right here, bro. Look at the muscle. See the muscle on that girl? The other one looks just like her. Look at the muscle on that girl, man. I'm talking about all the ones in that litter is crazy. Oh, you talking the ones you kept too? Look at this shit, bro. That shit crazy, bro. Like my boy has one that's just like her that he bought from the same litter, just like her, bro. Remember the other black one I kept? Yeah, I know you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Bro, they look good, bro. They look amazing. I knew she was gonna be special from day one, though, bro. Cause like when I kept, when I, out of the whole litter, bro, out of, out of all my puppies I kept, she was the smallest. And remember, I had, I had, I had chocolates, and everybody was like, "Why are you keeping the black out of chocolate?" I was like, "Bro, cause she looked good." Bro. All right, she became a feminist, so now I'm on the way going back to the crib. So he just gave me the results for that girl, Rosa Parks, man. What's up, Rosie? You ready? Are you excited? You excited, mamas? Alright y'all, so long story short, he told me she's at a 19. Um, so in other words, she's ready. So there's a few ways I can go about this because you guys know I mean at a 19, it's a kind of a little too far to be doing an AI for me personally. Well for me of course. Like I'm not doing an AI at 19 because that's kind of far. Um, but you guys know I gotta teach 
got guns, so you guys know what I'm going. I'm gonna TCI up. So I'm gonna go home. I'll probably do two TCIs. I do I do probably one today and one tomorrow. Or then again, I might do one today and then skip it in the other one. I don't know. I'll probably do them back to back. I think I'll do them back to back, yeah. But it's crazy about you guys. I've been busy, man. I was supposed to been to her to get a PG test, but I got so much going on like with my personal life. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for this dog show. Um, just getting ready for a lot of things and a lot of things going on in general, man, that I'm working on, you feel me? Because, again, I'm still human. I got a personal life, you know what I'm saying? And I got things going on besides just YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's been like, I want to say five days, six days that she's been, you know what I'm saying, on her cycle. Normally, y'all know me. Normally, within the first three days, I'm taking me to PG. But I'm not tripping. Like, it ain't bad, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's okay because I got my TCI gun. I go home. As soon as I get to the crib, I knock out this first TCI. Get her right, man. Thing about her, like I said, I gotta make sure she's not holding blood because um, last year cycle, I'm not gonna lie, she was bleeding a lot. When I say puddles and puddles of blood, like she had puddles and puddles of blood. So I'm gonna make sure she's not holding no blood before I actually um, do this TCI because if you're trying to breed a dog, whether it's a TCI or AI, and she's holding blood, your dog not gonna take it. I'm telling you, like. Holding blood is not a good thing, so you want to make sure, especially um, if you got dogs who known like for you know known not to take or known like have a hard time taking, make sure y'all make sure they're not holding blood before you just do it on um, AI or TCI because now you're just doing plenty of shit because your dog's not gonna take. But let me go ahead and get this girl situated. <laughs> y'all know she going to she going to King Juice man. But let me catch y'all looking like to the house. Lay y'all. Talk while he down to dance. What's up, Rose? All right, you guys. So, um, right now, what I'm gonna do? Y'all know I told y'all to get my TCI done. I got my TCI done right there, charging up because it's dead. I done, you know, I done been putting in work with that mother. As you guys can see from the last video, she did take. So that's good news. Um, but you guys, like I was telling you guys, I um. Go ahead and get this uh, TCI knocked out. But I want to, before I do that, I want to just make sure she's not holding any blood because um, last heat cycle, I'm not gonna lie, she was had a lot of blood. And I just want to make sure, I'm just, right now I'm just cleaning her butt off because she got a lot of food back here. But I just want to make sure she's not um, holding any blood because you know me doing the TCI, it's gonna be pointless if she holds the blood. So. Let me go ahead and get this out real quick and I'll come back to y'all in a few minutes. All right, so as you guys can see, she's flagging real hard. Like, see that? She flagged real hard. She flagged super hard. Now see that? Let me go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can without, you know what I'm saying, YouTube trying to flag you guys. So I'm gonna kind of like be standing in the way just disregard me, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna do the TCI, but before I do the TCI, I'm gonna go ahead and hit her with a, um with this right here just to be sure she's not holding any blood. I just want to be sure because this is one of the breedings I've been waiting on for a long time, so I want to make sure this breeding tape. So what I did right now, you guys, um, was I just put the tube inside. Um, you can find these AI kits online on Amazon. All right, perfect. So I push it in as far as you can go. Um, what you can do from this point is there's many ways you can do this, you guys. You can put this on the garage right here, and you can do her like this, and you can do this, and rub down her stomach like this right here. That's one way. Or you guys, y'all see it? See, see, see? See it leaking? Y'all see it leaking up? See, there you go, see what I told you guys. Y'all see that? That's how you clean out your female. So if I did a TCI, if I did one on her, 
and she holding out his blood, she wouldn't even took. Y'all see that look? See it dripping out? And remember, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I knew she was holding blood because from her last heat cycle, that's why you gotta pinch and see your dogs, man. You gotta pinch and see your dogs, and you gotta know your dogs, and you gotta understand dog breathing. So, her last heat cycle, she was bleeding really heavy. And I realized this heat cycle, she wasn't breathing that heavy. Like, she had blood in her kennel, but it wasn't a lot. And normally you can go by the first cycle. That doesn't normally tell you what's going on with your dog. If the dog has a heavy, a heavy period or a light period, whatever the case is. And for her to not have been bleeding so much, I knew something was wrong. So, so you hold it upside down, that way gravity, of course, gravity takes its course. It pulls all the blood up. See, the kennels come on here to teach y'all knowledge, man. I come to, to guide y'all and help y'all, you feel me? A lot of people don't know nothing about this, but, you know? And I didn't at one point either. I ain't gonna make it seem like I knew everything. I didn't either, but I learned it. All right. So, now, y'all see all that? Look at all that. So, if I did an AR or TCI, it would have been pointless because she wouldn't have took. Because this, look at all this damn blood. She wanted to, so that was point. So now you guys. Go ahead and put my tube in there. And see, can I pull some more blood out? Well, you put her in the downward position. So I'm just showing you guys this way. There's many ways to do this. This is one way to do it. Another way to do it is with my TCI gun. When I go in there on my TCI gun, I got a camera on it. I'm gonna see all the blood inside of her. But I know a lot of people don't have a TCI gun, you feel me? So why not show you guys the way that's more convenient and the way that has to be more convenient for everybody who don't have a TCI gun with That's gonna probably be about 80%, 90% of the people that's not gonna have a TCI gun. So why not do it the way I turn away so I can show you guys. I know my dogs, bro. I don't just breed dogs, bro. I I, I learn my dogs. I was just curious. I was like, bro, Rosa didn't bleed out like she normally do. That's suspicious, cause she bleed a lot. And I knew that from her first heat cycle, you guys know, her first heat cycle was like seven months ago, and I skipped it. But from her first, because she was too young. She was too young. She was like 10 months, 11 months, so I skipped it. Now she's currently uh, uh, like 16, 17 months. So um, she was too young, you guys. She was too young. So um, that was the reason why I skipped it, because she was too young. But we going this round, man. Second heat. And she's of age. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go back in at one time. I just wanna be sure. I'm gonna look in there anyways with my TCI gun, but again, I wanna show you guys from the way that most people gonna do it, like, without having a TCI gun. For the ones who are gonna wanna do this and don't know how to do it, when you're doing AI, or you're doing, you know what I'm saying, an AI period, this is how it works, you guys. When you go in there, the reason why you stick your finger in there because your finger guides you. It guides you, because in these females, it don't just go straight in. That's not how it goes. It goes like this. It curves like this. So you put your finger in there to guide you. So when you're sticking a rod in there, you have the exact... So when you stick your rod, when you stick your finger in there, you like put it in position, you can just go straight in there with the rod. But if you try to go in there with the rod, it's bad. And I've seen dogs not take because, one, you can go in the, in the pee hole, not the actual hole. That's why you put your finger in there and guide you. But when you go in there, you go in like this right here, and you curve it. So it goes in, um, I'll take it out. It goes in like this. So it goes in like this. Boom. See how she's tooting it up? 
it will go straight in. But since they be hanging down here, it goes in you know, like this right here. So you come in and it go like this. Boom. Boom. Boom is how it go. Not just straight in there. And put your finger in there because the pee hole is down here somewhere. So you don't want to go in there because you should go to screaming. I'm pretty sure some people had uh, situations where they were trying to do AI and the girl kept buck bucking and she was screaming and hollering. Bro, you probably was in a pee hole, but hurt. Stop trying to be so pretty and clean. Get your finger in there. You want to be a bully breeder? This all comes with being a bully breeder, bro. You got to get dirty. Sometimes you got to rub on some... You know what I'm saying? Some some penises, you know what I'm saying? You got jack some penises sometimes. You gotta rub on some booty holes. You gotta rub on some vaginas. I mean that that's part that comes with being a booty breather, bro. You feel me? So stick your finger up, put a glove on, stick your finger up, let it guide you. Me? I've been doing this shit too long, man. I don't need no glove, man. Like, you feel me? Like, stick your finger up, let it guide you. Me, I know how to do it because I've been doing this for so long, you feel me? But um let's do it one more time just to be sure everything good. All right, you guys, so I just did it for the last time, as you guys seen. No blood come out, so I think we're good. You guys think we go ahead and good um, knock out our TCI. Right. That's going to be helpful to a lot of people when it comes to their females not taking. A lot of people will be like, a lot of people have that problem. Bro. I've had that problem in the past where, like Doja Cat. Doja Cat is a big one who holds blood. Like, after I, that's why she didn't take her last breed I did with Juice, because um, when I got them doing my AIs, she leaked out, she leaked my blood, which I'm going to be honest with y'all. From the first AI, I kind of already knew, but I didn't want to accept it. So I kind of just like overlooked it, but I'm not everything. I got a TCI gun now. So as you guys can see, that's a perfect example of how you get the blood to female um, the way without a TCI gun. Because a lot of y'all don't have TCI gun. Um, we good. So uh, hold on now, so there's some blood in there. So like I was telling you guys, you want to come, like when you go in, you go like you go up and over with it. See what I'm saying? You go up and over with it. But when you spin it, don't try to jug it in there, man. Like just work with it, play with it. See what I'm saying? Spin it in there. Don't try to just jug it in there. You fuck around and then I talk talk some of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you still? She's still a female dog, so make sure y'all be careful with it, man. She gotta have a little blood on her still, so I just wanna be sure. I'm gonna come back to y'all in a few minutes. All right, you guys. I'm pulling that boy juice so we can do this TCI, man. I'm so excited for this. This is a line breeder, man. This is a niece back, back to her uncle, man. So her dad and him are brothers. Same dad, different mama. But so it's going to be a nice ass line breeder. And this black, I guarantee y'all, we'll get the black out of there. I'll show you guys in this breeder, man. But got the blood out of her, as you guys seen. Now I'm pulling the king juice. Gonna get it all. Look, 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 look at these dogs, man. Clean feet. So we already know we're gonna get some nice looking dog. He carry every color except Myrtle. She carry every color except Myrtle. Of course, she is black. Um, Y'all know her dad was lilac. So, and Don Juan is what? Uh, Taco Trot, Bait, all that stuff. So, it's gonna be a nice breeding, you guys. So, I just wanna check back in with y'all. Let y'all see what I was doing. What y'all think? Y'all comment down below. I catch y'all in the next scene. I ain't gonna lie, boy, this TCI gun better bear with me, cause um, it's about to die. That's why I was just charging. I gotta charge it some more. Say it's coming on, coming on. Make sure I clean it, make sure I look inside. Right now, you guys, I'm two and over this TCI gun. No, I'm three and over, I'm three and over this TCI gun. I clean this thing thoroughly. 
I'm going to say he tied down there, boy. Perfect. Y'all see it? Perfect. Let's get it. All right, you guys. So, um, I don't want nobody to be trying to, you know, do nothing about the video because I'm doing this on the camera. So, let me get it situated and I'll come into you uh, in a little bit. All right, you guys, just finished the TCA. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was a little complicated. I'm gonna tell you guys why it was complicated. Because the reason that we have a TCI gun is to be able to use the camera, right? Which, as you guys can see, for me to be able to use the camera, but the thing about it, I cleaned all the blood out of her, but she had blood clots in there. Um, I mean, everybody should know what a blood clot is. For the ones who don't know what a blood clot is, it's when blood is like thickened up, you know what I'm saying? And it, was, it kept getting on my camera lens and I couldn't really see. So I kind of had to just wing it. Cause every time I put, I put it in there, I pulled it out like four times to clean the blood clot out. And every time, I'm not gonna lie, every time there was a blood clot on there, like right up in here in the hole. So it was kind of hard for me to see, but I did do the TCI. Uh, tomorrow, again, before I do my next TCI, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure she's not holding any more blood. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I charge up my uh, TCI gun also. I'm gonna make sure she's not holding any more blood tomorrow when I um do my next TCI tomorrow. I'm gonna make sure she's not holding any blood because I just wanna be sure because that that's one of the breeders I've been waiting to do for a long time. Because that breeder right there is gonna put me a lot closer to what I'm trying to do and give me a lot more of a consistent look because I'm doubling up on a juice pedigree, which is the bait blood. So she's gonna double up on that, doing a line breeding, that look of like her and him. It's gonna be a lot more consistent. And that's the reason why I did the line breeding. But that's the end of the video, guys. Make sure y'all tune in. Watch the whole video, man, because like all this knowledge you just missed. Like, look at all this. All this knowledge you just missed. This right here will be the reason why your dog don't take. That's it. I love y'all. Catch y'all next video. Make sure y'all go watch the last video. Um, we got a lot more shows coming up. Um, the last show I went to was really super dope, man. We had fun. Um, I'll catch y'all next video.